had a question in the forums today about how Prometheus created this animated feedback in one of their Quizmaker examples that they shared on the Word of Mouth blog on March 31st. So the idea is that the learner selects a choice, clicks Submit, and the feedback box fades in with the, uh, the info. So let's go ahead and just look at how we can create something similar. So in this case, I'm working with two questions, right? Just, or just two slides, a question slide and then a blank feedback slide. So in the question slide, if I open this up, you can see it's just a simple question, true, false. I actually did customize it in slide view. So if I click slide view right here, you can see just the, uh, the background elements, the, uh, the, the hands with the prescription form and the true, false questions. If I close out of here, come in here in a, a blank slide mode, and you see that there's neither a title nor text in the form view. But if I go back to slide view here, I have the, the items, the uh, feedback box, the feedback text, and then I have this other incorrect sign that comes in. If I click the bottom timeline right here, you can see that we've animated a couple objects. So in this case, I have the text and the feedback box all animating together, right? So they're coming in at about maybe three quarters of a second. I set their animation right here on the animation tab to fly in and I'm flying in from the left. You can't access the animation tab unless you're in the slide view mode. So that's probably why um, if, if, if animations aren't showing up or they're not available, just click slide view and then you have a, a whole new tool set menu bar up here that you can work from. Now for this incorrect sign, I also animated that, but I animated that as a fade in. And I made that the first object that, fall, that fades in. So this will fade in, the, animate, the incorrect sign fades in, the text box fades in, then I have this little triangle right here that just fades in as well. That comes in just about a half second after the box. So if I preview this, box and the text slides in, the arrow fades, but this first item right here, the red, faded in to begin with, and then the rest of the box and the feedback slide in. So that's how you can customize the feedback using Quizmaker's slide view. So once you get into slide view, you have access to the timeline, and then from there you can animate your objects based on um, how you want to ha have them come in and the timing and then different types of animation effects.